impressive, isn't it? Capable of generating immense power, yet completely harmless to human life. If only the same could be said for the rest of the aliens' technology, Commander. Dr. Richard Tigan, Chief Science Officer. I am responsible for the entirety of our research here, as well as the procedure you so recently underwent. Welcome to my lab, such as it is. I'm not sure what Central may have told you, but we found something while removing you from the alien stasis suit. A device implanted directly in your occipital lobe. Had I access to the equipment available to me during my tenure at Advent, I would already know the precise nature of its function. However, given time and your approval, of course, Commander, I assure you, I will find out. Which brings to light an additional point. Though aspects of this facility are indeed impressive, I am but one man. Were you to direct additional support personnel and resources to me, I could substantially improve the speed of all our research. A farewell, Commander. Bye-bye. Yeah, he's our research man. Um, just some background, we are a commander, we fought in the war against the aliens when they came to Earth. Um, and then they didn't kill us, but they kidnapped us and put in such one small device, like an implant, into the back of our skull, like with the Edwards, um commander two, or like commander two types, yeah. And yeah, and they, I got rescued by those guys here and yeah now I'm back to my normal level and I'm doing this shit here what's going on so I have to rescue the world the plot is real so we can research modular weapons hybrid materials alien biotech let's go for modular weapons I do find that area of research to be among the more intriguing options available we'll begin work immediately I'll send word when a complete report is available. Alrighty. Okay. Reworked your repulsors with some of the parts I salvaged from their old engine. Should fix that stabilization problem you had. Come on, Rover. It'll work. <laughs> Commander! Getting our tech to talk to theirs is harder than you'd think. Lily Shen, Chief Engineer, at your service. You are probably expecting to see my father. In all that's happened, I'm guessing Central didn't tell you yet. He's gone. Dad gave everything he had to get us this far. This entire ship is his life's work. I know he would have loved to show you around the place himself. He used to talk about you a lot. You can be sure I'm ready to finish what he started. Might not look it, but from here, I can fabricate pretty much anything you come up with. And with a little more help, well, you'd be amazed with what I can do. It was an honor to finally meet you, Commander. It was an honor to meet you, Lily Che, or what your name was. So yeah, um, with her we can view our engineer's inventory, build facilities, and build items, so... You'd be surprised how big of a difference some of these things can make in combat, Commander. With a few supplies, I can manufacture anything we need in no time. Alright, so the first thing what we are going to do is get a med kit. We don't need a smoke grenade or a flashbang grenade. I don't like that one yet, so... Or maybe later if we have enough supplies, I'm gonna check. But we need a med kit so we can heal during the battle. No weapons and all available so far. And for sure we can... There's room for us to expand our facilities on board the Avenger, Commander. But we'll need more engineers to clear out space for construction first. Yeah, so we can build one building and the other stuff is like... Commander, I'm going to need more help on the engineering team before I can start clearing out some of these other rooms. We should recruit yeah. an engineer. We need an engineer for clearing the shit together. Like someone really... Did a mess there. Tell me something, Doctor. Must have been pretty oh, cushy working shit. with Advent, living in the colonies. 
So why the sudden change of heart? Like most people, I wanted to believe that the aliens were legitimately interested in peace. Although they left me little choice when it came to working with them, I admit, I was drawn to the sense of normalcy they offered. It was a mistake. You should have known better. The aliens would never have come here if they wanted peace. As I said, it was a mistake. One I hope to atone for through my efforts with XCOM. Then I'd say you've got your work cut out for you. Fuck yeah. So yeah, um, we can build here something, but first we need some soldiers. Yeah, that's the command thing. We can check our objectives. Our back objectives now are... Not sure if we can meet those objectives. They're pretty damn hard to achieve, but we will see. So on the other thing, the armory. That's where we see our... We've done what we can to honor our fallen soldiers, Commander. It's not much, but it gives our people a chance to pay their respects. We can see our fallen soldiers. Whatever, we don't need that one. Um, and we can few our soldiers. Oh, we have a lot of them. Wonderful, we don't need to create, cre recruit anyone. All right, so we got a specialist. Let's get going and customize them. Um, Customize, so correct information. First name is MOTW. So MOTW stands for Man of the West for sure. And then the next one is the nickname. So the first one is Moderator Chris. Nationality. Should I make him make them all German? I'm not sure. I will I will do yeah, first German. We'll see. German, so hair color. You need a different hairstyle. Just check face. Go with that face. That's Chris. Facial hair. You have none facial hair. Not at all. You don't have facial hair at all, Chris. Um, go first with the hair. Oh, let's go for that. Um, I don't know. And you got blue eyes. I actually have no idea. Just get blue eyes. You're a real German. Like blondish hair, blue eyes. Um, voice. My friend, you are. Los geht's. Oh. Das lass ich mir nicht zweimal. Bin unterwegs. Bewegung, Bewegung. Und ab geht's. Das lass ich mir nicht zweimal. Los, los, los. Los, los, los. In Ordnung. Schon dabei. Und ab geht's. Think three. Bestätigt. Los geht's. Position bestätigt. Bin Let's gleich three. da. Um, voice, voice, voice. Wonderful. What color do we get him? Let's get him. This is the yellow one. Make him yellow. Extremely yellow. Weapon color. Yellow. All right, let's get some props here. Helmet. So now let me let me check. Like, how is crazy? <laughs> All right. So those. Did my game just crash? Oh. Helmet hat. I don't see anything. Stormtrooper helmet. Public commando helmet. No, we don't need those yet. Right, so what do we get? Give him. Cap. Uh, I want. Uh, Chris has glasses. I just figure out. So we need to. We need to have something where we can see his glasses. Upper face. All right. Aviators. Da, 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 da. Is there something else I can get? Rings. Eye patch. All right. What? A awesome. Um. Glasses. No, no, no. You don't get any sunglasses. No, no, no. You get the normal glasses. Yeah, like this. Full up nerd. That's how you look like. Um. And 
helmet. And I need something where I can see his face still. Are you serious? So you're wearing a blood baklava with your glasses out. Like, that's weird. All right, this one would work. No. This one would work, but you're never wearing a cap, so nope. That's just so... N that's fucked up. Yeah, no, the, you're not a skier, so no. Alright, none of those. Maybe that one. No. Alright, Stormtrooper definitely won't work. Alright, let's go for Delta. Go for the... One. Yeah, that's Chris. Hell yeah. And if lower face props, you're smoking, right? Cigarette, cigarette. Eyebrow ring, earring. You get a cigarette. Hell yeah. Alright. And the weapon pattern for you. You was night desert, Polish Pantarena, German Strichmuster. Strichmuster! Deutsche Strichmuster. Every Egyptian Thunderbolt face paint. I can paint his face, hell yeah. Bro. Color invisible. Shall I paint his face? Actually, I won't paint his face, no. Chris is boring. I will definitely not paint his face. Alright, Chris is done, so we got the first one.